The Freer Gallery of Art has 52 of Whistler's watercolor paintings. It's the largest single holding of his works in the medium anywhere in the world. Whistler learned watercolor technique as a little boy, and he continued to use it off and on for the first couple of decades of his career as a professional artist. He only really embraced watercolor in earnest, however, in the 1880s, when he was already almost 50 years old. Whistler became interested in watercolor in, in large part as a marketing decision. He was at a low point in his personal and professional career. His finances were in a shambles. He'd had an unfortunate libel suit against the critic John Ruskin. He'd gotten into a big fight with his important patron, Frederick Leyland, over the Peacock Room. And he really needed to rebuild his reputation and his finances rather quickly. Watercolor occupied a really important place in the Victorian art world. It was the one medium where British artists were seen to have achieved excellence beyond, for example, their French counterparts. Watercolor, which was easy to execute and sort of amenable to a variety of motifs and landscape subjects, presented itself as what he called a little game that would be appealing not just to super rich collectors, but to perhaps a wider demographic range. And the watercolors, which Whistler described as dainty and most portable, could easily be slipped into a steamer trunk as these collectors crossed the Atlantic. 